Hi guys, it's Jerry, and I'm back here with another video. Uh, this one's gonna be a quick one. I know I haven't been on for a while, and I'm sorry. Um, it's just, I recently got a job, so I've been busy, and, uh, getting into a full face of makeup before work, and then having to get out of it and shower, and it's, um, it's, a, you know, I'd have to get up really early. So, uh, I think I'm gonna make videos from now on, right after work, and I'll, you know, get into a full face and everything. I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now except for uh, the soft lips cube. Uh, that's what I'm wearing because I'm gonna do like a, it's a first impressions on these. Um, I'm taking my glasses off so there's no reflection. It's the Mega Slicks Wet n Wild Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color and this is in the shade Red, Ready or Not. That's what it looks like. I'm sure these probably have been out for a while, so I know it's probably not really a first. I mean, I know you guys probably probably heard about them, but it's the first time I well, it's not the first time I've seen them, but it's the first time that I was at what I was at Wet and Wild. <laughs> yeah, there's a Wet and Wild store here in LA. No, I was um at CVS. No, Rite Aid, and they were like redoing the whole Rite Aid, fixing everything, and I saw the Wet and Wild section, and and then I saw this one, and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, that's why I'm not wearing anything except for just a little bit of um of a of a lip lip balm. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on, and I'll try and I'll do it right here uh, with you guys. But um, I'll try and let me see. Huh? <laughs> I need my glasses. I can't. It's red. I don't know how how pigmented it'll come out to be. So let's see. Okay, so I'm I'm totally not sure if I am out of my if I'm out of like my lines, uh, but there you go. Um, uh, so I'll do a swatch in my hand. Oh wow, that is so funny. That's so funny. Look at the swatch on my hand. Imagine if I would have just shown you this. You would have been like, wow, that is so insane. Let me go get that right now. Uh, but I don't know. When you see it on my lips, what do you guys think? I think it looks more pigmented in the swatch. Uh, and I don't think it looks... I mean, I, it comes off... It comes off kind of like... I don't know. Like a, like if I mixed ketchup with water. and I, It's okay, I guess. There's no scent. There's no scent to it. Um, I think in comparison, if you were to compare this to some of it, the other drugstore uh, lip, these jumbo lip pencils, I don't have a lot of them because I don't really, when I wear something on my lips, I want it to show up. Um, so that's what this one looks like. That's the swatch, but that's what it looks like on my lips. And I'll swatch the, these two for you. This uh, Neutrogena Moisture Cut Moisture Smooth Color Stick and Fresh Papaya, and the Twist and Shine Jordana Moisturizing Balm Stain in Nude Chic. So let me go ahead and take this off. And um, maybe you guys are wondering why don't I edit my videos? <laughs> it's <laughs> I try to edit my videos um, before the first video I made. It's so I don't know how I don't know how people do it. I don't understand it. It just is. I feel like it's so much work, and I mean, why am I gonna, you know, if I'm doing my eyeliner and I I mess it up a little bit? Well, great. I'm not perfect. No one is. Sorry. Um, you know, I don't know how to do everything. I I still have trouble with eyeliner. You can. I mean. Sometimes I get it and it's on point, but right, I mean today I'm wearing uh, the Lorac Pro palette. I'm wearing from the Lorac Pro. I'm wearing, and, I, and I've showed you guys this before and I'm sure you've heard of it or seen it at least. Um, 
Oh, okay, that's what it means. Every time I see uh, other, I, every time I'm watching other YouTube videos, I'm always wondering uh, why they cover the mirror. And then I just, I have the flash on my phone, so I understand that it's gonna blind you guys. Um, so that's what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it. I'm wearing on my on my lids. Well, as like the whole look, I'm wearing um, light pink. Under everything, I'm actually wearing. Uh, the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo in inked in pink. I'm wearing that under as a base, but before that I'm the Lorac uh, behind the scenes eyeshadow primer is what I'm wearing. Then the 24 hour color tattoo in inked in pink, and then light pink is in the inner corner and maybe like the first half. And then after that is mauve towards, towards the end of the lid, and then black on the outer corner outer v and then uh sable is on the under right here and then cream as i'm using it that's cream is what i'm using as a highlight so that that's what i'm wearing uh, on my lips i mean on my lips on my eyes and so that is actually a look i didn't i didn't create it um if you're interested i mean i probably didn't do it justice but um emily noel that uh, she's the one that I watched her do it. She's using all matte shadows, and the only thing that I did different from her was that I used ink and, ink, inked in pink under the shadows, and then I, I, I went over to um, Champagne, and I did a little bit of that in the inner corner just to give more of a highlight, because um, I didn't like the way it looked when it was just matte. And then as an eyeliner, I used the uh, Milani... Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in uh, black vinyl. Let me swatch that for you right here. So that's that's what that looks like, right there. Um, it's I if if I put water on it and then I rub it, it goes away. Um, but it sets, and I guess it's supposed to. But if I run it under water and I don't move it or smudge it, then it doesn't smudge. I don't know if that counts as waterproof or not, but I think it says that it's supposed to be waterproof. I don't know. I'll test it out. We'll see what happens. Uh, and then what else? Oh, uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion for my mascara. Um, it's just a regular mascara. I haven't, I haven't, I'm scared to try something new because I can't really tell the difference, I guess. Maybe maybe I really have to see a mascara that does something good to really understand the difference between a good and bad mascara. But back to the original part of the video, I guess that's why people edit their videos, because uh, they don't make it 30 million minutes long. But you know what the truth is? I actually like longer videos. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm gonna finish watching these jumbo sticks. This is the new, this is New Cheek by Giordano, the Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. So that's it right there. Uh, to be completely honest with you guys, um, I don't think you can even really see it. Uh, it kind of just comes off uh, on my lips. I'll do a live swatch. It comes off on my lips as, as um, and it's just shimmery. Yeah. There's no color really to it. So it just kind of gives them like a wet look. Oh, and another thing about the uh, Wet n Wild Balm Stains, those felt like water on my lips, which was weird. I guess it, they really are moisturizing, so that's a good thing you, you want to think about. If you want something that's moisturizing. And that's different, of course, to every person. Some people want, you know, are looking for more color some people are have you know dry lips and they really want something that has a lot of moisture and color and this is the uh Neutrogena moisture smooth color stick in fresh papaya this is just pretty this actually does come off on my lips the only thing i have to say the texture of it, because it has sparkle, it's a little grainy, but I mean, it kind of goes away, it like melts, and now it's just soft, 
it's just soft and moisturizing but not it they don't feel nearly as much this literally feels wet it feels wet on your lips your f lips feel wet so maybe I maybe I, I'm not like an expert but it seems to me like that means it's a lot of moisture coming in okay so uh, uh, the reason why this video is probably gonna be a mess is because I didn't know what to do I I wanted to make a video I wanted to talk to you guys I wanted uh, to let you know um, I was thinking about doing another haul but I just did one and I, I mean I did go to the I did go oh okay oh, I'm such a mess I'm such a mess but okay I wanted to update you guys on my Ipsy bag. Um, some of the things that I got that I've been trying out. Um, the BB Cream Shadow. I haven't tried it. And I don't know if I will. It doesn't really. I, I think I got a little overexcited when I when I opened my Ipsy bag. Um, this. 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 Uh, the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray. I hate it with a passion. I spray it in my hair and then my hair literally clumps together and I I like to do this sometimes my hair or move it around whatever when I do that with with when I have the spray and literally my hair goes like and I have to like rip through it hurts so this trash like boom gone out um, I wanted to update you guys on that but the thing that I did like and that was thanks to um, one of one of my viewers she, she was watching my video and she was talking about how you could use the oil, uh, the tanning oil as a cuticle oil. I did that when I, uh, I got my nails done for a concert that I went to. I had claws on and I had to remove them and I used it as a cuticle just to, to soften up my, my finger area um, after, after having to like basically ruin my nails if you can see. They're basically ruined because I, I had to do it myself. I had work the next day and I, I wasn't going to show up to work um, with with you know big long claws I've also been using this um, I don't know if it's bad but as like a moisturizer uh, when I'm in the shower I spray it on my hand and then I rub it into my skin and it leaves my skin really really, really moisturized and and, sm and smooth I don't wash it off um, when I dry myself in the shower it kind of just goes into my skin so I have been actually really really enjoying this a lot uh, the the Pop Beauty bronzer, I haven't used it. I think that's, I think that's all I got in that in that bag. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and and uh, let you know that I'm still here. Um, and of course, I love making videos. It's just um, trying to find a time. So I think it'll probably be more like this, where it's uh, where it's nighttime videos. Uh, but I don't mind because I, I of course I love getting and doing my makeup. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I, um, if you follow me on Instagram or uh, I probably on Facebook, you'll see I received the Coastal Sense Revealed palette. Um, so that, and of course you've seen it. It's the reveal, just the original reveal, not the reveal two. Uh, so that's what it looks like, and I haven't used it yet. Uh, so we'll see what that. That we'll see how that. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do an actual first impression on that. Does it count as a first impression? Because I already saw it. Don't you have to swatch it and then that counts? I don't know. We'll see what I do. Maybe I'll come out with a random eye look with this. But let me know if you guys, how you guys feel about this. What color do you use? What's a good combo to do? Um, and I'm considering getting the reveal too because this was on sale for like 10 bucks and then I have a $5 off coupon so hopefully the reveal two will go on sale for ten dollars, and then I'll get the five dollar coupon, and I'll get it for five bucks. So yeah, I just like I said, I wanted to update you guys, and uh, keep in touch. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to comment and subscribe if you want to. If not, that's totally fine with me. Just continue to watch my videos and uh, enjoy. Thank you.